Hello friends, in this video, you are going to see the solution of question number 4 of exercise 9.5 from the chapter differential equation of NCRT Maths textbook class 12. Friends, the question is like this. First of all, we have to show that this equation is a homogeneous differential equation and after that we have to solve this equation. Okay. So first of all, we take the differential equation. Okay and we write the term x square minus y square into dx in the right hand side so that we can calculate the value of dy by dx and on solving we get dy by dx as equal to minus x square minus y square upon 2xy next we, we assume that f of xy is equal to minus x square minus y square upon 2xy and we calculate the value of f of lambda x lambda y which will be equal to minus of lambda square x square because we have replaced x by lambda x y by lambda y and here we get lambda, uh, 2 into lambda x lambda y or 2 lambda square x y okay so we get the value of f of lambda x lambda y as equal to minus of lambda square x square minus lambda square y square upon 2 lambda square x y we can take lambda square common in both numerator and denominator okay so we can write this expression as equal to lambda to the power of 0 into f of x y because minus x square minus y square upon 2 x y is equal to f of x y so because f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of 0 times f of x y so it is a homogeneous function this f of x y is a homogeneous function of degree 0 because dy by dx is equal to homogeneous function of degree 0 therefore the equation is homogeneous differential equation okay further we can also do this by alternative method we take dy by dx and divide the numerator and denominator with x square okay so we get dy by dx is equal to 1 minus y upon x whole square upon 2 into y upon x and this can be written as equal to g of y upon x that is a homogeneous function of degree 0 so because dy by dx is equal to g of y upon x that is a homogeneous function of degree 0 therefore again by this method we can also show that the given differential equation is homogeneous now we shall take the differential equation and we are going to solve it so we have written the differential equation as dy by dx as equal to minus of x square minus y square upon 2xy so to solve a homogeneous differential equation we do a substitution and the substitution is y is equal to vx on differentiating this equation with respect to x we get dy by dx as equal to v plus x dv upon dx we are going to place this value for dy by dx and for y we are going to place vx so we are going to obtain v plus x dv upon dx is equal to minus of x square minus v square x square upon 2x into vx okay in numerator we can take x square common denominator we can write 2v x square so these two x square can be cancelled so i get x dv upon dx is equal to minus of 1 minus v square upon 2v and this v is written here on the right, right hand side as minus v now we are going to simplify these two terms so we get x dv upon dx is equal to minus 1 plus v square minus 2v square upon 2v or we get x dv upon dx is equal to minus 1 minus v square upon 2v okay now we have separated the variables in this step and we have written further 2v upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus 1 upon x dx next we are going to integrate both sides of the equation now this can be integrated directly 1 upon x dx but to integrate this we will have to uh, perform substitution method and then only the integration is possible so i take the integral and i substitute 1 plus v square is equal to t on differentiating both sides i get 2v dv is equal to dt 
So for 2v dv I place dt and for 1 plus v square I place t. So I get this as equal to 1 upon t dt. This would be equal to log of t. Okay. Since t is equal to 1 upon v square. So I write this as equal to log of 1 plus v square. Okay. So placing the value of this integral and integration of 1 upon x dx as equal to log x. I get this expression and I place integral constant as equal to log c because both the values were in the term of log. Okay. Next I have written v as equal to y upon x and all the terms as it is. In this step what I have done? I have simplified 1 plus y square upon x square and written as x square plus y square upon x square so I get here log of x square plus y square upon x square and I have combined these two terms log c minus log x as equal to log c upon x these two values are of log so I can write x square plus y square upon x square is equal to c upon x or I can write x square plus y square is equal to cx you can see that if we take x square here so one power of x will be cancelled so we are going to get cx here or uh, and this will be the required solution of the differential equation which we have been given so this is how we are going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you